This is uh, Mr. Glenn Grothman from uh, the great state of Wisconsin. I yield three minutes. Thank you. Well, we've talked a lot about numbers here. I just want to point out a few that should alarm the American public. In the year that's wrapping up September 30th, we're borrowing about 22 cents of every dollar we spend. I mean, think about that if in your own personal life, you borrow 22 percent of what you spend every year. We have reached a agreement on the debt ceiling increase, which is by the standards of Congress incredibly frugal. We're going to be cutting discretionary spending about 1 percent, which is something we haven't seen in many years. And even if we stick to that agreement, the amount we are spending, the amount we are borrowing what we spend next year will go up from 22 percent to 23 percent. Some people say 24 percent. So think about that. We're in a position in which we can cut our spending and the amount we have to borrow will keep going up in part because of mandatory spending and in part because increases in interest costs. So that's the crisis we're in. I, uh, I applaud um, the chairman for putting together a bill here that is a step towards righting the ship. I hope we do not forget to go after the tax credits which sometimes are especially offensive because they're going to some of our wealthiest people in the country. Uh, things like tax credits for electric vehicles. Electric vehicles are already a luxury that uh, costs more than 20% more than a regular car. But I guess to make us feel good at certain types of people, uh, fundraiser, whatever, we're, we're giving special tax breaks to that group. I'd also like to highlight the Section 42 tax credits for property developers almost getting free buildings on the taxpayer, another group that seems to spend a lot of money around here, the type of thing we ought to end tomorrow. Uh, but in any event, I appreciate this bill. It is a step in the right direction. I hope in the future we're more uh, cognizant of the 10th Amendment. Our forefathers realized that if the federal government got involved in everything, It'd be the end of end of uh, would be the end of a democracy and maybe even the end of our republic. So uh, hopefully we'll begin to respect that and take wholesale departments and throw them back to the states where our forefathers anticipated. Uh, but I'd like to thank you, Mr. Chairman, for putting this together, and I'll yield the remainder of my time. I thank the gentleman from Wisconsin. We have a, in this reverse the.